Shalom Ami Ashurala, Shalom Am. Kala Layam, Ola Hayenawa, Yahawa, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakaa Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth of risking our own lives to the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwa, listening, listening, and learning. Shalom. It's your brother Shaman from the Pillars of Benjamin camp. Here with another lesson. And we'll just get right into it. You know? The world. Right? This world. Right? You see the nations. Two thirds of our people. The world as a whole, man. Will trust the beast. Right? Right? Because they're in gross darkness. They don't know what's going on. If they hear the pro when they hear the prophets, they scoff, they stock it up, they 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 chalk it up as nonsense. Isaiah 60, verse 2. Right? You hear these words, uh, you, you and your sky daddy, you know what I mean? From these heathen nations, from two thirds of our people, right? Your sky daddy, what your sky daddy don't know what's your sky daddy can't say. Why would your sky daddy do this? Yeah, that's what these this is what two thirds of our people say out here, man. Isaiah 60, verse 2, and it reads, For behold, look, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, right? Ignorance. This whole world is in ignorance and confusion. The people out here, gross darkness. That's heavy, thick ignorance, not knowing, not knowing who you are. Not knowing what's up. Believing in the world. Worshipping idols. Right? Do as thou wilt. Right? Worshipping worshiping Serapis. Right? Chasing that bag. That all that all equates. That all equates to ignorance, man. But the Lord, all caps, Yahweh, shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Right? And that's the elect. The glory of Yahweh Shem is seen on the elect. You know, that's why, we're, that's why we're out there navigating, using the world, is not abusing it, you know? Spirits get activated, whether it be de 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 demonic spirits, jumping on people, right? Or people genuinely saying, Some something's different about you, man. You know, drawn to you. That's the light of Yahweh Shem Shai. Right? On his servants, the prophets. Right? But two thirds, two thirds of our people out here, the rest of this world out here, has no idea what's going on, has no idea what's coming. They're ignorant of Satan's devices. Therefore, they're going to follow, they're going to follow the beast. Right? Esau's lining up his ducks in a row. John 3, verse 19, and it reads, verse 18, and it reads, red letter. Our Lord said this. He that believeth on him is not condemned. Right? The elect believeth on Yahweh Shem Shai. But he that believeth not. Right? You two thirds. Is condemned already. Right? And sometimes some more sometimes two thirds walk behind the hedges. And that's that's for them to get condemned. Right, you're telling the names Yahweh, Wa, Yahweh Shai. And they walk away pricked. They walk away, they walk away not believing what it is you're saying. That's them condemned. That's them being condemned. Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten son of Yahweh, right? And that name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Meaning he delivers, he saves. In the Paleo Hebrew, his father be Yahweh. Meaning he exists in the Paleo Hebrew. Verse 19 And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, that light is the elect. The light of Yahweh Shai on the elect. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil, right? In this world, 
they love darkness rather than light, man. They love this alpha boy, alphabet boy uh, 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 lifestyle. They love, they love this do as I will lifestyle. They love this you only live once lifestyle. Right? Right? They love the world. They chase after the world, man. It's all about career, 401k, degrees, education. What you own, right? I own this, I own that. I own this property, I own this, I own that. I did this, I did that. That's what it's about in this world. It's, it's, it's a chase for, for, for carnal things. And Esau, Esau has, has deceived the whole world. Right? People out here, you have Jake now saying they don't believe in a, in, in, in a power. Once upon a time, that was unheard of, man. Right? Psalms 14, verse 1, and it reads, The fool hath said in his heart, heart being mind, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done a bond with the works. There is none that doeth good. Right? And that's that's two thirds of people out here. That's Esau Edom out here, saying there's no Mosai, there's no heavenly power. Right? And Esau, Esau setting up, setting up to usher in his, his his device, right? We see we see war wars, rumors of war. Look at this alert here: Putin's lightning fast nuke threat. Yeah, I read that this morning. He said, "Anyone get involved, expect a lightning fast response." Roughly paraphrasing. Anybody in the West? That's what he said, man. You know, these these, these things are these lightning fast response with what do you say with with weapons that he knows the rest of the world doesn't possess roughly paraphrasing right and this is this is the time we're in man right and two-thirds of people you wicked israelites you refuse to hearken romans all right now it's time to wake out of sleep it's the book of romans flowing in the spirit you know Romans 13 verse 11 and it reads and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep now is the time man right repent right heavy judgment is about to pass a time like no other is about to it's about to pop off the time of Jacob's trouble right the revelation 13 verse 16 on down these are the things right you have this guy you have this uh Elon Musk guy purchasing uh, Twitter, and everyone, everyone out here is like, it's it's a it's a it's a, a savior, like he's a like he's a savior. You gotta remember, this is the guy that's developing Neuralink, man. Right? How is he going to incorporate this platform? think about it how is he going to incorporate this platform with his with his with his with his Neuralink right and Jake out here asleep Romans 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe right Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai delivering the Israelites which is the salvation is nearer than when we ever believed. Right? Scriptures say, uh, the, the disciples ask Yahweh Shai, when shall we know of your re return of your coming? Let's get that. So we see all these signs popping off. Matthew chapter 16. A lot. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Verse. 
verse 3, Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when, tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Right? The disciples wanted to know. What sign? What do we got to look out for before you return? And the end of the world. The word, the word world here is eon, meaning period of time, age. Right? Second Ezra 6 verse 9 says, Jacob is the end of the world. And Esau is the beginning of it that followeth. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob, let me get it. If I butcher it. Second Ezra 6 verse 9. Right, Jacob being the, the Jacob being Yasharela. Second Ezra six verse nine it reads, For Esau is the end of the world. Esau, you Edomites, you and class elites, you banking families. Right? They rule the world. Right? Rome two point the revision of the Roman Empire. Right, this is the end. We're in the tail end. We're in the tail end of, of 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 their rulership, their kingdom. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Jacob is the beginning. Right. Let's get this word eon in Matthew twenty four. This word world. Get this word here. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Verse 3. The word world. Eon, right? Strong's G one sixty five. I own. I own. I own. Eon, forever, an unbroken age, the world's you know period of time, age, right? So it's not wacky tacky will teach all oh, the end of the world, you know? The end of the world, as we know it, no, it's an age, an era. A time, right? Esau's time. We're coming into the end of his kingdom, man. Right? Where is that scripture? Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, I believe. Bear with me. Earth abideth forever, right? So the world, the, the world, the physical world will not be destroyed, right? But the time of Esau's rulership, is coming to an end, and they know it. Salafia, yeah, looking for the scripture. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 4. And it reads, One generation passes away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. Right? The earth abideth forever, man. Okay? So that world, world is not talking about the earth. Wacky Tacky will push that. You know, two thirds of our people will, 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 will run with that and don't know. That's why we blow the trumpet, man. Warren Jake. Get right, the time of heaven is at hand, right? Second Corinthians 2, verse 11. And it reads, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, right? We're not ignorant, ignorant of Esau Edom's devices, man, right? Right, what are his devices? These wars, these skirmishes, his pharmacia, 
right? Is Revelation 13 verse 16 on down, right? The MO to the, you know? Back into Mark 24. Verse 4. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed, red letter, that no man deceive you. Right. And how and, and how is Esau deceiving with his device, with his propaganda, with his media, with his tele, te, television, with his pharmacia. Right? The media, the media is so blunt right now. You're getting multiple stories. And unless you have the spirit of discernment, man, you're deceived out here. Verse 5, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right? We're in that time. Rumors of wars, man. Right? This morning, the latest Putin saying, expect a lightning, a lightning response for anyone who gets in our way or interferes with our campaign. Right? That's rumors of wars. And that he'll use weapons that he knows the rest of the world doesn't possess. That's rumors of war, man. See that ye be not troubled, right? Us in this truth, we're not troubled, man. Why? For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, right? All these things gotta come to pass, man. We know the time of Jacob's troubles on it, 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 it must come to pass. Famines, great deaths, sword, gurgur troops, concentration camps. Right? Famines on deck. Famine is next. Right and 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 two thirds of our people out here ain't gonna ain't gonna realize until it's on their doorstep, till it's here. Verse seven: For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. We're here, man. Verse eight: All oh, these are the beginning of sorrows. Right, the beginning of sorrows. We are here. It's plain as day. It's plain as day, but two thirds of our people will not see it. These heathen nations, what's well, not for them? They won't see it. Only the elect will see it. Sirach 39, verse 24, and it reads As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling, block, stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Right. The election being the holy, Lord willing, we're of that number. Right. What's going on is going to be plain as day to the elect. But stumbling blocks unto the wicked. We're the wicked two thirds of our people. Right? Isaiah 32, verse 7. And it reads. The instruments of the churl are evil. Who's a churl? Churl means scoundrel. Who's a scoundrel? Esau, Edom. The wicked, the ruling class elites, these banking families. What are their instruments? Their media. Their pharmacia. The revela their Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. The MO to the war propaganda. Famine. Right, the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai has put the spirit on these Edomites to shut down the food chain, man. Isaiah 32, verse 7. The instruments also of the churl are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words with the poor Israelites. Israel being a people for a place. Right? Esau Edom want to destroy Jake. Even when the needy speaketh right, and who's speaking right? The elect. Abhor him that speaketh in the gate. Let's get that. Amos 5 verse 10. And it reads. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. The elect. The elect is shaking the hand. Calling out Esau Edom. Exposing him. Shaking the hand at the gates of the nobles. Right? They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly, right? These these Edomites hate this word coming out. It cuts. 
Isaiah 13 verse 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. The banner is these scriptures, this word. The high mountain is these rulership, these governments, these ruling class elites, these banking families. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand, right? Point them out. Hey, Esau, you're wicked, right? You're going into slavery, right? Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Who are the nobles? These ruling class elites. Right? Back in Isaiah 32. Yeah, that's it on that. Psalms 140, verse 8. Psalms 140, verse 8. And it reads, Grant not, O Lord, all caps, Yahweh, the desires of the wicked, right? These, these ruling class elites. Further not his wicked device, lest they, exalt, lest they exalt themselves, right? The scriptures say no flesh will be saved, right? The Mosai the, the has these Edomites, these banking families, these ruling class elites in a trick bag, man. Right? Their device is going to fail when it's all said and done. Right? And the elect will be delivered. Lord willing, we're of that number. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Verse 22, and it reads, red letter. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short and right? we see that we see time speeding up it was new year's it was new year's yet it was new it was so-called new year's yesterday man right <laughs> we're going into may right but these uh things are ramping up 2022 the year of the turn up the year of Yahweh Bashim Yashai turning up. Repent, Jake. Amos 8, verse 11, it reads Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh. Right? The famine of the word is on our doorsteps, man. Right, we see censor. We see censorship rolling out. We see. We see uh, uh, heads and CEOs of companies making moves. We see former presidents speaking out. Right, we see. We see uh, uh, higher ups saying they want to ban the Bible. Right, and you see when the famine of the word comes when you don't hear, when you no longer hear the words of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, when these video epistles are no longer going up, when there's no more brothers on the highways and hedges because the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai has pulled back his men, that's when Jake gonna run around and try want to want to get right, want to hear what it is that was being said. Right, but by then it's too late. Jake gonna line up and get chipped up. To hang on to this, right? Or Jake gonna be starving to death and, and and cave and say, you know, I'll take it, right? Amos eight verse twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. Right? You're not gonna hear it. You're not gonna know. You're not gonna hear it, or or find it out in that day, man. Romans eleven. And Lord willing, we that number, the elect, the Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai puts the spirit on us to endure. Right? That's about to get wild out here, real bad. Right? Romans 11, verse 4, and it reads But what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. The Lord has reserved to himself 7,000 men, a complete number, number, number of men. 
who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal, right? Who will not bow to this image, image being the system, right? To this device, the device being 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 the M-A-R-K. Right? Meanwhile, two-thirds curtains. Right? Repent. Right? And these words are going to go up. It's not going to turn back. Prophecies will fulfill. Let's close out. Isaiah 55 verse 11. It reads, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. All these prophecies are going to, going to take place. Right? It shall not return unto me void. Right? The Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai spoke it and will happen. Boy being meaning empty. It's not going to return back empty. It's going to fulfill what it what, 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 what it set out to do. But it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right? All these prophecies are going to pop off, man. They are going to happen. Thus saith the scriptures. Right? Everything we see going on, everything we see going on is prophesied. It's prophesied. Habakkuk 2 verse 3 and it reads for the vision is, is yet for an appointed time the vision being what the prophecies appointed time the end th this is the appointed time we are in the end days but at the end it shall speak and not lie right all these prophecies are coming to pass man we got multiple things going on at once wars and rumors of war the, the mainstream media is now speaking of famine the mainstream media is now pushing out famine Beginning with the elder apostles on down, been talking about the famine for years, right? Our, our surge, our resurge in 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 in, in pestilence and plagues, right? The love of many waxing cold, right? Mainstream news is speaking about the 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 mo to the right, right? At the end, it shall speak. We're in that time, and not lie, though it tarry, though it take long. Wait for it. Because it surely, it's lucky, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right? It's coming. It's here. All these prophecies will fulfill. Thus saith the scriptures. Stay prayed up. Pray it on ceasing. Kwam Yasharala. Wa Abad Babal. Shalom.